Inside each of these four painting kits, there are three large tubes of SAA paints and also a guide sheet of how to paint the pictures. But in addition to that, you'll have access to three YouTube videos where you can paint them along with me. Hello, welcome to this watercolour demonstration. My name's Bill Lupton. Um, what I'm doing today is painting a, a coastal scene with one of my coastal kits that's available from a website. The kit contains three colours specifically chosen by me for painting coastal scenes. The first thing I've done is mix the blue and put a tiny touch of the red in there to give me this blue-grey colour. And I'm painting diagonally across the dry paper as you can see. This is just a small piece of 7x5 um, Saunders Waterford that I'm demonstrating on. While that sky area is still wet, I've mixed some of the blue with a touch of the red, but as you can see it's a lot stronger. And I'm dropping that into the sky, but making sure I paint at the same angle. And because it's wet, it'll grow and move around and create a magical sky effect. There are three different videos associated with this coastal kit, but I also have got three other kits available. Each of those have got three videos as well. There's a general kit, an autumn kit and a winter kit, so why not take a look? What I'm doing now is using the cream colour from the kit and then a bit of the red colour from the kit, but quite pale, and just adding it into the sky. With a damp piece of scrunched up kitchen roll, I can slide it across the surface of the paper and remove some of the paint. This just gives me a straighter horizon line. These horizontal lines are the start of the water. It's just a mix of the blue and the red again. And then what I'm doing is just adding in some of the neat blue with no red in there. And that's a lovely sea colour. So I'll bring that forward towards the base of the painting where I'll add some cream later to give me a more sandy look. While that sea colour is still wet, I'm adding in the cream now. Uh, it does make it look like wet sand. It's important to do it while the sea is still wet. Well, because I'm now I'm going to paint some land either side of this uh, painting, what I decided to do is mix some blue tiny touch of red and that generates a nice shadow colour so I pop that into the sea. I need to let that dry as you can see when it's dry it dries a lot lighter. Now with a very strong mix I can start adding the land. This is a mixture of the uh, blue with the red and what I will do at some point is add some of the cream in there as well so I've got some nice stony looking colour. Well, you can see the difference between this colour I'm putting on now and the one I put on earlier. The one I put on earlier was very blue. This has more of the red in. And then what I'll start to do, you'll see in a moment, is put some of the cream in there. The cream colour that comes with the kit is fabulous for adding into things like this. I found it really does create a rock-like structure and I'm just putting it in quite rough and it does spread out and give a nice effect. And now using the same brush and the same mix and the same sort of technique, I'm doing the same on the opposite side.
and there goes the cream again just dropped in wet into wet and let it run it will brighten and soften and move around and create its own area so uh, leave it once you put it on now because my shadow areas under the land has dried quite bright I've decided to wet it again with a clean brush and then add a little bit more dark paint in there just to give more shadow on either side Now to emphasise the sand on the beach a little bit more, a lot more of the sandy colour, quite thick this time, I'm just dropping it in and sliding it across the painting. It does create quite a nice beach look and because it's still damp it will soften. And finally a little bit of the blue with a touch of the red to give a nice shadow colour again and just pulling in from each side, don't want it too bright this sand. The beach does look quite empty and so to finish the painting I've decided to add a couple of people but not too much detail. This is quite a dark mix of the blue with a touch of burgundy and all I'm doing is creating a very small head, create the body and then draw long thin legs and then continue those legs down to create the shadow. If you get a chance to have a look at my website please do, you'll find some classes, courses and I'm also available for workshops and demonstrations for groups and societies so uh, why not come and have a look. I'm just popping in some shadows now, um, long shadows because the light's coming from the horizon which is quite low. So here we go, uh, painting's finished. It's quite a nice effect, quite strong colours and quite light areas. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that demonstration and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.